Thank you very much, Laska Hirlik. Um, Look, like Martin Conway outlined, I think there is a, a lot of merit in, in the amendments being outlined by colleagues today, and I accept the good faith that they are being put down. And I think there's particular merit in the proposal as outlined by Senator Ruan in relation to the limiting of the, the the automatic rolling over of the renewal periods. But I would just like to address some of the comments there raised by Senator Mullen. Um, I too was watching the golf there a few days ago and it was, it was a great performance uh, by the winner, but the weather is completely different in the United States. You can actually have a very full outdoor life at the moment in the United States. I wish we had better weather. Uh, we have different climates. And yes, the, the funeral restrictions are very hard. I unfortunately lost two uncles during the past 14 months and I had to watch their funerals on YouTube and it's very, very uh, restrictive. However, it's done with the best of intentions and Senator Mullen, you made reference to the fact that um, the minister needed to earn the trust of the public. Well, I think he has more than earned the trust of the public. Uh, the schools have reopened. The vaccination program is flying along, uh, our death rate is dropping, our, our infection rates are dropping and we are holding it together very, very well. So to suggest the minister and the government needs to somehow earn the trust that they haven't already earned it, I think is highly insulting. And I also think the constant reference to repressive regimes when referring to the government or anything that the government is trying to do is highly insulting. And I've heard other people um, refer to Ireland as being like a Nazi country and a, a Hitler regime being run. Like that is completely, completely inappropriate. And we need to stop with the district. No, I, you had your time to speak, I offered Senator you a point. Mullen. And if we're on the topic of human rights yeah. and the state oppressing the human rights of people. Need I remind you of the many women that had to go to the European Court of Human Rights to, to vindicate their health rights? And I'm talking about women like Deirdre Conroy who had to sue this state because she couldn't access termination services. But it's because babies so if we're have rights too. It's just because rights, babies have rights too. And if we're talking about repressive about regimes, uh, that's Senator what is in place uh, in this country. Sorry, please, and I think I, it's completely yeah. inappropriate for members of this House and the lower House to constantly use emotive language when we are discussing these um, health regulations. It's completely inappropriate. And I don't want any member who is putting down uh, an amendment in good faith, and I'm not questioning the good faith of anybody in this house, but to use completely inappropriate no, and insulting language that like that Continue. is completely inappropriate. And I'd like Senator Mullen to retract his comments here earlier today. I was very and clear then, that I wasn't want comparing the government with a repressive rights, regime. Let's have a full but debate we need to be about aware human of the rights and Senator how Mullen, women's human uh, rights were suppressed in this country no for years. No need to retract this on either, on either side.